our carbon footprint smaller. In any industry, forklifts are central to daily operations. Traditional models run on petrol and diesel, adding to carbon emissions. But revolutionary technology is changing that. Using hydrogen and fuel cell technology, a forklift and refueling station were built. A fuel cell, as you've heard this morning, converts chemical energy into electricity through a chemical reaction with oxygen or another oxidizing agent. Fuel cells require fuel and oxygen air to sustain the chemical reaction, unlike what we have with a battery. They have an anode, a cathode, and electrolyte that allows cha charges to move between the two sides of the cell, and electrons flow from the anode to the cathode through an external circuit producing a DC current. The benefit for this particular forklift is Apart from the environmental aspects, it's got zero emissions. It generates water through this particular system. It also has much lower noise levels. Investment in green technology has various advantages for the country. What we're seeing here is a great initiative. It solves the big problem of the environment, but it also ushers our country into being a key player in the innovation space. What we're dealing with is a prototype. It's an important one. We think we have value here. We think we can be competitive. In fact, we strongly believe we are going to be competitive. What we now need to do is take it out there. We need to communicate, market, be able to show the world that we have the competence to be world leaders. The technology holds much promise. This is innovation. This is a start. You need economies of scale. And once we have economies of scale, once we've developed businesses, once we start manufacturing in this country, you build those economies of scale. There is fantastic opportunity for small business development. Um, we believe it's a great opportunity for, for developing new businesses in new technology. With hydrogen and fuel cell technology punted as a clean fuel of the future, South Africa could see itself as a leader in the industry. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Springs.